Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's September 12th, and we are continuing on the landing gear. So, the left side, this left gear leg, this is the first one um, we're doing. So, of course, this is where the learning curve happens. Uh, the right one went in much faster. So, right, uh, as I mentioned before, you know, it's just one giant piece of rectangular steel that is bent. And that bend causes a bow in the material, which is what you really have to file down to make it fit. You can see me just filing over and over and over. Once you got that thing filed in so that it reaches, and the, the way that you can tell is that the top of the gear leg will actually match to the top of the bracket that you will be um, sort of securing it to, because there's a bolt hole, a 3 8 inch bolt hole that lines up. And until that lines up, you got to keep filing away to get it up there. Uh, and so now there's going to be two brackets that hold it into place once it's in, right? So you've, we've already put two brackets in before. We put a vertical one in, and we put a horizontal one in that sort of surrounds the hole where the gear goes through. And that's, and that's great. So now once that gear leg is actually in, uh, there's going to be a secondary horizontal and vertical bracket that will sort of, you know, hold it in place. And all of the stress winds up going into the wing box, right? Because that's what it's secured to. Great. Uh, after that, we will go ahead and test the uh, axle. You can see the Behringer wheel and axle down in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to go ahead and test fit that on as well. And then we have a little special, real special thing at the end here. Okay, so I think by now it's in place. And I have to, like, and I apologize because the angle of the camera makes it look like those gear legs go straight down. They do not. Uh, that giant piece of metal you see me working with there, uh, that is the two brackets for the left and right that uh, Van sends. It's just one giant piece of angle aluminum with uh, holes drilled in it. Of course, it is your job to cut it in half and trim the excess material, deburr, and prepare it to be put into the plane, which you see me doing here. Uh, the two vertical pieces are actually just hidden behind that beer can right there. Uh, speaking of that, that is an omission brewery. Golden Light. It's a 99 calorie ale. It's really good. Since this apparently is the age of low calorie alcohol, everyone just appears to be drinking rubbing alcohol mixed with uh, soda water nowadays. Whatever just happened to gin and tonics. Alright, so now that the gear, you can sort of, okay, so you can see the gear leg coming up there. And the bracket that I'm sort of messing with, that's where the bolt goes through. You can see me sort of hammering it in. Once that's in place, great. Now you can go ahead and put the vertical bracket in. And then the horizontal bracket again goes down at the bottom, uh, right at the aperture where the gear leg comes through the bottom of the fuselage. Which I am thinking about putting a little RTV on. Well, I mean, you know, just because it is a... I don't know, maybe not. I mean, if moisture, if there's moisture trapped inside the plane, I want it to... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I still don't like leaks. So yeah, getting the two brackets on, uh, the vertical one's really not too bad. You just wind up, you know, with, I think it's two A and four bolts or A and three bolts that hold it on. And then you got the biggie that holds it up against them because they're all being screwed into the wing box. Uh, so you've got to wind up torquing those on, and those are pretty simple. And here we are test fitting the Behringer axle. And look, it's a drop-in replacement, fits great. The only problem is they forgot to send all the bolts. You need to have special close tolerance bolts. Close tolerance bolts are just, you know, they're, they look like AN bolts. The problem is close tolerance bolts are very special in that they are made to withstand something like 160,000 pounds of shear force. Right, I mean, they're, they're serious bolts. That's why, that's why they're not cheap. Okay, so here's the special thing. So we, we're taking a break from the landing gear to show you something special, and that's the seats. I went with Classic Arrow, and uh, I'm glad I did. So a lot of companies just make seats that wind up snapping on or securing to the seat backs that you build in the kit from Vans. Nothing wrong with that. Perfectly fine. Classic Arrow makes their own frame for the back. Uh, allowing it to have more of a natural sort of car seat shape. Uh, plus you get, you know, some cool options like there's a, you know, there's a pocket in the back and uh, and some headrests and it's just much more comfortable, so that's what I went with. 
Uh, I love them so hard that we're just going to trail them out. In fact, you know what? Here's a picture of them in the fuselage here. Aren't those nice? Look at that. So it's kind of an indigo blue with a darker cream color in the center. And uh, I had I had them do some diamond stitching, and I, you know, totally worth it. I think I think it looks great. Anyway, in the next video, we keep working on the gear. So have a good weekend, everyone, and see you soon.